I'm going to talk about a specific use case I have encountered a lot uh, that people want to um, filter access by applications rather by stream or maybe they want for example if you have um, five users in finance and uh, in a bigger organization or even the mid-tier ones um, you have in finance there is a separate section which uh, deals with the procurement and there is a separate section which deals with the, a certain type of um, you know sales and etc so they have they have ex all have access to the stream of finance and for the simplicity purpose they do not want finance sales finance blah 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 five six seven streams of finance rather they just want have one stream of finance where if uh, who, uh, someone can have the access to every application whereas a few of them have uh, application by their teams access application to the different ap applications uh, access to the different applications sorry okay so how to do that so I will just get into them uh, in here I have logged in from this user called demo and if you see there is sales stream which has two applications in here okay and I have a user here in demo user so by default there is a security rule um, which does that so let's go to that rule and that rule is called stream and if you see uh, it is default rule so uh, whenever you encounter a default rule do not delete it do not change it if you maximum you can do is you can make a copy of it and default disable it the previous one so please make sure you do that okay so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna disable this one and I'm going back in here and I'm going to refresh this window and see applications gone I just just disable this particular rule this rule is called stream and if you see there is a description to it as well okay it says that so it basically this application this particular rule says that if someone has access to a stream he must have access to the applications within as simple as that and we are disabling that we say no it's not the case the application should be based on some other rule what that other rule can be so before that i'm going to define a custom property and i'm going to assign it to user and app so that i can match them and I'm going to call it app access and I'm going to say that app level access within a stream and let's call it tutorial and then let's call the new one uh, next one is Mac address click on apply okay nothing happened I just have defined custom property so nothing going to happen okay the next I'm going to define two security rules the first security rule I'm going to do that is a simple one I'm just going to give an app access for read and update let's publish and it should be based on app access is equal to app access simple validate the rule it works oh sorry I need to name it like And if I do that, it's in here, but nothing happens. And let's go and assign this user, this newly assigned custom property. And let's give it tutorial. And we also have to assign this custom property to application so that it works. let's go to app this is tutorial app and let's assign a tutorial here you go 
and now let's refresh it it should appear here oh here we go so okay so we define the custom property we define the rule and then we assign the custom property now if we click on it you see there is nothing in here there is no sheet and everything so the application i have access but i do not have access to the contents so then here comes the second security rule the second security rule basically is nothing uh, it, it is a bit, bit actually complicated uh, but I just what I'm going to do is I'm going to use that the rule that disable so it says that I'm going to use this one and I copy this one and I'm going to create another rule and I'm going to call it app access but actually I actually need to do this thing and say read and I'm going to paste this one you see it is automatically disabled because it is very much so I'm going to say this resource rather than stream I'm going to call it app so if he's, he has read privileges to an app so then it should be able to view that and I'm going to remove this one So this is sorry one more comma in here. Here we go. Validated. Good. And we need to name this app content access. Apply. And let's refresh it now. Here we go we have the access to the application and here we see that and if I go back to this one in here you see I have actually you know created um, a rule from in here so you might seems like you know um, it's this uh, it might you know get me at the same place but actually it didn't the other application is tall and visible so i need to do two things one is it resource it read the second line reads resources stream so i change that to app and in the end i deleted the last line where it has stream never and i put a bracket after the end uh, so that it completes the logic that's and this is how i can ex give the access to the application so now if I go to app, so yeah, uh, let's define this one custom property as well. So give it to the MAC address. And uh, now let's go and give user the property, Mac, this property as well. Sorry, uh, yeah, MAC address, apply. And if I go back to this user in here again, you see I have a second one so this is very simple uh, just need to be uh, make sure that uh, we define the new custom rule but it's gonna be careful while doing that then you have to assign every access to the app level every access will automatically fall to the app level and also it doesn't mean that you can bypass the stream you still have to give access to stream because you might for example if this person does not let's let's do that thing as well let's show you that as well so by default it has mm, I have default a security rule because and if that is um, the, because of this this particular attribute it has like this particular user has access to sales so I'm just removing that in here and 
if I do that, this refreshes it. You see the application gone. I don't have access. And this is an interesting thing. But if I still have the direct link to this application, I can access it. I will not see the stream. But if I have the you know direct link to the application, I can still use that. So this is another uh, you know lesson that, for example, if you don't want to show the application, you can just pub share the link and <laughs> he can access that. Uh, he, but he cannot, he or she cannot see the stream. So this is another uh, an interesting uh, idea that you can explore. Thank you very much for watching the video. Uh, stay tuned.